Dom G presents Not the Magnus Archives. Episode 1 The Door Jam. Statement of Dominic Guerin regarding a series of unsettling events. Recorded direct from subject. Statement begins. I was watching a funny video of two YouTubers performing a seance or something of the sort. I had seen it before and I was just showing my brother Sylvain. It was evening. Dark out. Very end of summer, so it must not have been very early in the evening. I'm not sure when exactly this was, to be honest, and I'm sorry that I don't have a date. It was after COVID hit, and in or after June that I started watching Unis Honest. I know this because I had seen some protest resources. One of them was discussing pepper spray and linked a video. That video was made by the channel I was watching with my brother, who had started watching at the end of August. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. I hope the date is not very important. How I know it is unimportant. Just know it was during or probably after August 2020. We had made a deal that if I watched the Moomins with him, he would watch Unis Honest with me. So we'd been in front of the computer for maybe an hour or two. It went from light out to dark. I remember this because our house has a huge window spanning almost from wall to wall and floor to ceiling in our house. Our computer is shared by the whole family. You know how it was growing up early 2000s, not having the most money in the world. It was in the living room then, almost directly across from the front door. I think I heard the door and jam before seeing it. The door never opened during our binge-watching marathon before this point. Only while we were in the dark, watching this horror of two men trying to summon a demon, did the door open. Now, our door always swings to the wall if it is open, so it must have been closed. In fact, I think it was locked, now that I'm looking back on it. Sylvain was in the computer chair, and I was on the ottoman beside him, so I was the only one who could see the door swing open, since it was almost directly behind him. Maybe I thought that someone was opening it. After all, I think that's what it sounded like. When I turned to look to see who was coming in, I only saw the door swing slowly to the wall. I was already freaked out a bit by the video, but this really set me on edge. If the door was open, it should have swung out as soon as whoever was last there left. Hours ago. No, the only explanation was that it had just been opened. By this point, Sylvain was watching it too. The door hit the shoe we used to protect the wall with a soft, fabric-y sound and a hint of sand that must have been in the entryway. I don't know when we paused our video, but we must have at some point. Sylvain and I looked at each other in confusion, and a little bit of fear. I called hello to the colorless darkness, and of course got no reply. Nobody was there. I stood to go close it, and that's when I noticed that the handle was locked. The door had not only been closed, but locked, and now it was open. I poked my eyes around the porch in case someone was playing Ding Dong Ditch. I saw nobody. I shut the door on the still slightly blue sunset sky. And I turned on the lights, bathing green walls in a slightly more yellowish light. It was just to make me feel better. Or to make Sylvain feel better. I don't know which one of us suggested it, if one of us did at all. Wish I could remember what we said. Maybe we joked that just watching the video summoned the entity into our house. Maybe we whispered about our knees. Nonetheless, we finished our video. Well, I say finished. Only a few minutes later, a coat fell down in the entryway. Someone was there. I'm embarrassed to say, but I yelled very loudly a word that I will not repeat. My brother burst out laughing, even though he too was freaked out by the jacket falling. Two things happened in that one short span of time, and nothing had happened for hours before that. It can't be coincidence. Well, once is chance, twice is coincidence, three is a pattern. Fine. Maybe it was coincidence. Nothing else happened in that video. Or maybe the door opening was during the demon summoning video, and the jacket falling was during a ghost hunting video. I can't remember. It's been two years, and my memory has never been the best. We were still on edge when we went to bed. My room was just too quiet, so I needed to fill the void. I didn't have my phone on me since I'm not allowed it in my bedroom, so the only thing that would make noise was... a music box. It held a rosary in it, and had a picture of the Pope on it, I think. So, obviously, if there were any demons or unsavory entities, the shrill, blessed music box would surely expel them. I blessed every doorway, window, and mirror in the house that night. The holy water made stains on the glass, which I got in trouble for. My mother awkwardly made me say a prayer with her, reading off her phone, and blessed my forehead. It was embarrassing, but maybe it helped. The music box sure didn't. 
Why did I play a music box? Everyone knows that they're used in horror films. When it went quiet, it was worse. Statement ends. No investigation has been done into the events of this statement, but Dominic's brother was asked to confirm a few details. He mainly confirmed the time frame in which these events took place. No earlier than August the 13th, 2020. End recording. The Magnus Archives is a podcast distributed by RustyQuill.com. This was not an episode of the Magnus Archives. The content in this episode is anecdotal by Dominic Guerin and reviewed by Sylvain Guerin. This episode was recorded, directed, edited, and published by Dominic Guerin and written as a school assignment. To view the original Magnus archives, find them at rustyquill.com or on YouTube at Rusty Quill Podcasts. Thanks for listening.